All right, so this is a little bit different kind of question. I don't normally um, answer these kinds, but I'm going to do it here because I think it'll set a good precedent. So he says, I have a bit of a mental gymnastics question. They say that females like attention and to be chased. Okay, women who need attention and like to be chased are insecure women. So with that being said, the definition of, fem of insecure females is the ones that like attention and need to be chased. Okay, so how does a man actually chase a female while still keeping his alpha mentality and image intact. Okay, well, one thing is watch your language, right? You're calling her a female, right? That's removed. That's almost like an animal in a way, like an objective, something like that. It's a woman. It's a person. Start thinking of it like that. Say a woman or a woman who I would be interested in. Start talking like that because I think you're divorcing yourself from your heart in this way. And it's making it hard for you to really see what's going on here within yourself. So how does a man actually chase a female while still keeping his alpha mentality and image intact? Uh, you surrender those two mental constructs we got right there. The alpha mentality and the image. You have to surrender those. You have to surrender needing to have an image. You need to surrender needing to be an alpha. That's what you need to do. You got to let that go because it's not it's not helping you. It's putting you in an either or thing. You can't connect with somebody when you're separated and you're creating separation from her. You can't create intimacy with separation. You have to come together. And if you're like, I got to keep my image around her, then what you're doing is you're telling, you're showing I'm not valuable enough for her to like me. So I have to maintain an image, right? And you say I have to be alpha, which means I got to, I got to perform. I got to be awesome in order for her to like me, which makes your value, your intrinsic value worthless. And the thing is, is that you find value in women intrinsically, but you're not allowing that. You're not affording that to yourself. Okay. It's, and so I'll get back to the question. Is it mutually exclusive or possible to be an alpha and chase a woman? Also, how does one keep being alpha while completely coming off as an asshole or that he doesn't care? <clears throat> the only time you're going to come off as an asshole or you don't care is if you are an asshole and you don't care. If you bring your heart to the table and you stop trying to be something more than you are and you you come in with your heart, you're not going to be an asshole. You may come off as little because I can tell you if you're trying to keep your image intact and you're worried about being an alpha that reeks of insecurity. And I can guarantee you a high consciousness woman is going to see right through that. She's going to be like, he's trying to be cooler than he is. And guys think that they're smart, that they can outsmart women's intuition. It just doesn't work. A conscious woman who's connected with her heart and follows her feminine intuition will always see will always see what's going on. Just like it's a it's a tell. You can't help it. And you will never have those kind of women in your life. You may be able to fool an insecure woman because she's devoid from her heart too, and she's chasing after external material things, and she has to be a certain way. That's why hairdressers get a bad rap because they're, you know, they they live in a vanity, they work in a vain vanity industry. And so they have to look good all the time, right? It's all these external things, external value. And so a lot of times they don't have it down on the inside because they put too much emphasis on the external for whatever reason that went on in their life. And that's what you're doing here. You know, trying to be alpha is a beta move if you want to use the, that terminology. It is. And alpha is not concerned with it. Go look up the history of, of the alpha wolf and you'll see that the alpha is actually very magnanimous and takes care of the family and isn't concerned about these things, protects the elderly and the family. The wolf pack is the wolf's family. It's not, he's not kicking ass and trying to be over the other, the other males. It doesn't work that way. It's about the, the, the uh, nuclear family unit. So that's what I would say. You need to release those images of yourself. You don't need to be that way. Stop trying to be something more than you are and just be more of you unapologetically with your heart and you will find that this turns around and you won't have to do mental gymnastics. With that being said, in the beginning, the man shows interest, but again, feminine energy moves towards connection, which is towards the heart and love. So when she finds you interesting and she finds you attractive, then she will naturally pursue a relationship with you and pursue the connection. That's not going to mean that she's chasing you, right? She doesn't need your attention. She doesn't need to try to drag you to wherever. She's just like, hey, by the way, I want to hang out. What are you up to? And you're like, well, I'm going to hang out with you. That's what I'm up to. And then, you know, when she does that, you let her catch you. And uh, that's all I got, man. I would say that alpha, beta, gamma, omega, the only, the only, 
Greek letters I want to hear is gamma radiation. I want to be talking about the Hulk or something. All right, that's all I got. Bye.